this one. This is true because I, I, I looked at the article, but did you see this? <clears throat> Jennifer yes. Lawrence says a riff with her Republican family was reignited over Roe v. Wade. Uh, she also has nightmares about Tucker Carlson. Oh, he's going to milk that. He's definitely going to milk that. He's got to, right? <clears throat> I don't want to disparage my family, but how could they raise raise? Uh, how could you raise a daughter and believe she doesn't deserve equality? Okay, so hold on. Um, why do they always post her L's on purpose? Like that's my biggest question to them always, right? Does it seem to you like they're always posting their L's like on purpose? Because. That's you know where I originally found the article was Occupy Democrats. I think yeah. posted it or Facebook or some shit. I think they post their L's because they're wired a different way now. They like these people think that their victimhood is like cool. Like it's you know what I mean. So it's like they just are always posting their self owning neurotic bullshit. Hey, I have nightmares about Tucker. Hey Carl. Jennifer, so you think he's doing? Do you think he's doing the giggle? Hey Jennifer. One, two, Tucker's coming for you. Three, do you four. Do you think it's just him giggling, though? It's that Tucker giggle as yeah. he's chasing her? You imagine? I have <laughs> this is absurd. I have While he's just exactly. chasing her. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just chasing her, asking her to sign up for Fox Nation. It was not even anything yes. violent. What's he's Tucker like, Carlson today? He's just, okay. he's just following her around. What about my documentaries? Yeah. Who's watching these things? Are you? Because <laughs> yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Maybe it's your families. Oh, that's a good that point. That was basically Nick Mullen's entire Tucker impression is, and it turns out there's naked pictures of me on the internet. Who's jerking off to this? It's not me. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's your family. <laughs> he, uh, if I'm Tucker tonight, <clears throat> I would offer his family a free lifetime subscription to Fox Nation on air. There you go. <laughs> Show those documentaries mind. and stuff. Show those her mind. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's where we are right now. We're at Jennifer Lawrence being afraid. Hey, Jennifer. I feel the need to remind you that I've seen your butthole. It's amazing to me how many people online have these want the opinions to be respected whose buttholes I have seen, actually. It'll actually blow your mind how many people. It would blow your butthole. It would, it would, it would. I'm just glad it's not Rob Reiner. Um, <sighs> first off, ya boy was in a Daily Wire article, so I want to thank Bull and Branch Sheets. The um, what? I was in a Daily Wire article. Daily Wire did an article about the Tucker Carlson, Jennifer Lawrence thing, and they took some of the best tweets and took mine. And uh, I had Lean and Mean Photoshop. Uh, remember, I had Lean and Mean Photoshop Tucker Carlson as Freddy Krueger for us. Uh, so, you know, guys, I'm selling out. I just want to say that Bull and Brand Sheets is the best sheets if you're Jewish and want to have sex through a hole. And uh, what, what's the gold one? Birch gold, if you want to own gold but never actually own, hold gold in your hands. I mean, I would just prefer to own the gold and have it in my hands. Let them hold it for you. You don't trust Ben Shapiro? No. Wait, why? Oh, the Jewish thing. Because he's Jewish. Because he's Jewish. Uh, So, Tucker replied to the Jennifer Lawrence thing that this is so good. So, Jennifer Lawrence. Is anyone surprised? Of course not. I was like, there's. Dude, there's only two things I've been waiting for this week. Number one. <laughs> I know what both of them are. Number one was Tucker replying to this, and number two yes. was Dynamite. And it looks like Dynamite's going to be fucking ruined. <laughs> yeah, Dyn- Dynamite sucks because uh, AEW just suspended uh, well yeah. their entire roster. Right, basically. So, basically, yeah. <laughs> it looks like we're getting a lot of dark matches tonight. Hey, you know what, though? I'm a big Dan House fan, so that's good. That's good. <laughs> Best friends, yeah. let's go. Anyway. The second thing was Tucker replying to this. So here you go. Hey, by the way, before you hit play, I just sure. want to say, if you listen to Tony Khan, and I know you are. He is. You got to figure out who you're going to put this belt on next. Yeah. You know who's not getting into fights backstage? One Mr. Daddy Magic, Matt Menard. Okay, look, let's fucking. World title run. Bro, I like him. What a, a taste lot. of titles. I don't. I like him a lot, but I don't think he's right. What if? Um, <clears throat> he is very good, though. Anyway, here Sorry. you go. 
When you decide to work in television, you lose control of a lot of things, foremost the way other people perceive you. So can it really be your fault? Are you really responsible if major Hollywood starlets dream about you? You know he's doing he's doing the AOC thing. This is so good. And it's he's so doing the I AOC know. thing with Elon. It's basically like, why are you so obsessed with me? Yeah, exactly. Would starlets dream about you? Maybe it's the sexy glasses. <laughs> he's such an ass. He's, such, he's so thoroughly clown pilled. <laughs> Highest paid person in news, right? You're looking at him right now. <laughs> oh my God, he just turned into Chris Hayes. Yep. Or Rachel Maddow? <laughs> yes. Who knows? We can only speculate. Trace Gallagher has the details for us, though, tonight. <laughs> Trace Gallagher? Yes, he's going to have Trace you, Gallagher. You, brought, you, yeah. you pulled Trace Gallagher to do this. what was probably a very important border story he or could, something yeah. he's, so about he, the cartels smuggling fentanyl inside of children. And you're like, we need Trace. Let's get him back here. We got to talk about butthole girl for What if there's a connection? <laughs> Yeah, and just so you get the total dichotomy of this, Tucker, it's important to note that while Jennifer Lawrence sees you in her head at night, you know, the nightmares when she sleeps, she's likely not watching you now, but her parents are probably <laughs> watching you because they're fans. Oh, no. And it's, it's true that she said that in the, van in the Vogue article. Jennifer notes in the October issue of Vogue, the 2016 election has caused tension among her Kentucky family. Quoting here, I just worked so hard in the last five years to forgive my dad and my family and try to understand. I'm sorry. Forgive, forgive them for them what? For, yeah, for, for what? For voting differently than you? Yes. You know that I am actively friends with people that don't vote like me, right? Like, that's not like the Whoa, only... how do you do that? Oh, you, what you do is you realize that the real world is not Twitter and you act like a human. No, I cut all those people out of my life. Oh. I, I can't be in the same room as a demon rat. Well, that explains all the cat noises. <laughs> hey, all my cats are Republicans. Fair enough. No, they do. I, I they that's, vote Republican. By the way, that's the title of Mersh's next book. It's going to be All My Cats Are Republican, the Mike Sheely story. <laughs> the ballot harvesters come here. I write down their names on the fucking mm -hmm. ballots. Mm -hmm. you, you'd be like, you got to be kidding me. Do you make cat jokes when it happens? That'd be great. <laughs> hey, uh, what is your policy stance on treats? <laughs> Are you pro or against extra treats? Also, go to the question. Do you like needing the same spot over and over again for no reason? <laughs> <laughs> and DeSantis is like, look, all right, I'm just here to run the state. I'm not here to tell individuals uh, what treats they can have or not have. That's your freedom. That's your Sir, right. Can you, just... can you please tell us the merits of staring at a corner in a room with nothing occupying said corner? Just, for hours just swishing your tail. <laughs> Switching your tail. Well, I'll have you know I have an affinity for cats as the governor because I move my hands like a cat playing with a string. So that makes sense. And they're like, these are all Sir, great uh, what is your stance on licking your crotch until your throat gets filled with so much pubic hair that you cough up said pubic hair <laughs> onto the floor and then begin licking the pubic hair? <laughs> and then ask Hunter Biden. And then, and and then we don't, I don't take any of his good answers and then we just write... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we just write a hit piece. It's like DeSantis pro dog. <laughs> Is DeSantis eating cats? DeSantis <laughs> it runs the government, and he's responsible for the loud garbage trucks. <laughs> you know, it's his fault. Cats are like, oh, you know what? Fuck that. Vote for Chris Understand? It's different. The information they're getting is different. Their life is different. I'm sorry. I'm just unleashing, but I can't. By the way, their life is different. Yes. They have to live every day in their family home somewhere in the middle of the country while you got to go to Hollywood and fucking blow Johnny Depp. So, like, you know that maybe, yeah, their life is different. Maybe nothing in politics will ever affect your life negatively. And a lot of things are going to affect theirs. F with people who aren't political anymore. Now, as for her Tucker Carlson tonight, I can't F with people that aren't political. Did you hear that? That's why the and this what an is, ignorant statement. But like the the opposite should be true, right? Like I can't fuck with people if they're not political. Yeah, I don't fuck with people if they're too political. Yeah, mares. They likely stem from a 2017 segment where you joked that she had 
Trump derangement syndrome, and were several media outlets. You know what's fucking funny? It's true that her parents watch Tucker, and they have to have seen Tucker dunking on Jenner, her, their daughter like every time they tune in. Said that she blamed Trump for a series of 2017 hurricanes. Now, oh, remember when she blamed Trump for hurricanes? That was fun. Now remember this. She was taken. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sorry, uh, Jennifer, but you're way off base on that, okay? Trump wanted to literally drop nukes on hurricanes. Yes, that's the difference. She says, grossly out of context. Grossly? Really? I mean, shortly after she said Trump would be the end of the world and that Trump was a jar of mayonnaise, she went on to say in a 2016 interview with a British television station that the election was, quote, startling. And quoting here, you know you're watching these hurricanes now and it's really hard not to feel Mother Nature's rage and wrath. You know we haven't had one named Storm yet, right? Maybe, maybe one. Yeah, we haven't this year. It must be all. Been... It must be all the climate change. And it kind of makes. Or maybe nature does whatever the fuck it wants. That's yeah. why. That's why climate people are always hilarious to me. Like they think that they control nature, and I'm like, you can't, guys. I know you think you want to, but you can't. It's like thinking we could control space. Exactly, you can't. X one ask. Rage or wrath at home exactly? In 2017, it would likely have been Trump and the deplorables, but today it would be Trump and the semi-fascists where the rage and wrath is directed. <laughs> it's just a guess, <laughs> but it's a good one. Amazing. So it's just, she says she has nightmares about us. That's what they're calling it now. Nightmares. Yeah. All right, we're flattered. I think it's the sexy glasses. Uh, in either, either I think it's the sexy glasses. Case, Trace Gallagher, appreciate your hard-hitting reporting on that subject. You Thank bet. you. Can't help it if they dream about you. <laughs> He's just... You're right. You're right. Because if out, of, out of all the people that Jennifer Lawrence has met, Tucker Carlson is the one she should be having nightmares, right? It should be Tucker Carlson who should be scaring her, right? Out of all the people in her life that she's ever been around, Tucker Carlson's the problem. She probably just has nightmares about Weinstein and just replaces him with Tucker. Tucker. Yeah. I'll bet you money. Bro, of course. 100%. And to imp and by the way, she's probably had a dream about banging Tucker. Of course. Like, it was a nightmare. Again, she just replaced Tucker with Weinstein. Um,